G'day folks, welcome to the latest instalment of the Brothers Weekly Wrap. Uh, this week we come to you following our weekend's clashes uh, against Mariba. Uh, the day got off to not the greatest of starts when our second division side took on uh, the Melanda uh, connection. Um, really disappointing effort actually, uh, not to gloss over it too much, but uh, we, we got tailed up essentially, 50 points to eight, uh, in what was a pretty disappointing performance. Uh, I know Jack was bitterly disappointed. Uh, as we mentioned last week, the boys have been training really hard uh, in the weeks leading into this game. Uh, but it does just show the class of that Melander side. They're, they're a very good football team, and uh, they got the they got the rewards for a good effort on on the day. That led into our under 18s game. Uh, our under 18s under strength, down to only 14 players. Uh, as school holidays take a few of our guys away as they head back home. Uh, up to the islands and to the communities, uh, but it didn't deter them too much, and they were able to secure a really strong 66 points to 10 win. Uh, it was a really good effort. Uh, the boys stuck to their game plan, which was basically just challenge the opposition to tackle them, and uh, they played nice and direct, they played nice and tough, and uh, they, they certainly got the reward on the weekend, so congratulations to the under-18s. Uh, reserve grade? Another reversal of fortune though, uh, unfortunately the attitude wasn't there, uh, the mindset was absent and got tailed up again actually, uh, so 44 points to 10 win to a Mariba side that were just hungry and more desperate on the day uh, and you'd be forgiven for thinking that it was actually Mariba sitting on top of the table in the reserve grade clash and uh, brothers towards the bottom end, but that's not the case, but it certainly looked that way on the weekend. Then we had our A-grade clash. The A-grade game was the inaugural uh, Tony Schaaf Memorial Shield. As mentioned last week, uh, Tony unfortunately passed away in the off-season. Tony had an, a rather esteemed history with both clubs, having played for Mareeba from 2002 through to 2009, winning a premiership in, in 07, uh, and then being a, a pretty important part of our club over the previous two seasons to this, uh, 2013 and 2014. Massive effort to travel all the way down from Mareeba for training every week and uh, you know his efforts on the field were, were never underestimated or, or undervalued. As a part of the day, uh, in addition to the Memorial Shield being played for on field, uh, we also had a, a bit of a mongrel jersey framed and, and raffled off as a fundraiser for Tony's partner, Billy Joe and, and their kids, uh, which raised a considerable amount of Money, which was fantastic. As for the game itself, I was really, really happy with our first half. I thought that we defended really well uh, for the entire 40 minutes. We had that desperation that we that we required, and we held the footy better than we have done all year. Our completion rate was up over 80%, so I was, I was very happy. And we were able to go to the sheds at half time with a 26 points to six lead. Uh, unfortunately, something in the water at half time. Uh, we went from being perfect with our discipline and leading the penalty camp 5-0 to suddenly uh, being terrible and losing the penalty camp 8-2 in the second half, uh, which really allowed Mariba to come straight back into the game. Now, I thought we, we really defended well, considering we only had uh, 11 touches of the football compared to Mariba's 22. But uh, if we intend to go deep into the finals this year, then we certainly need to make sure that we don't give the opposition anywhere near that much possession. But the game also gave the opportunity for uh, brother's cult hero Bobby Bagnoni to take the field for the first time this season in A-grade. It was fantastic to see the big fella out there. Unfortunately for Bobby, uh, his entire 17 minutes stint on the field, we only had the ball for one set and so he only had the one carry, but he certainly got through plenty of work defensively. And at full time of the A-grade clash, uh, Billy Joe actually presented her selection for Man of the Match, who was Darren Shonick with a specially struck medal for his efforts on the day. So Darren was certainly proud to have received that award. Uh, this week we turn our attention towards Yarraba. Uh, it's, it's a real danger game. Yarraba obviously have a, a whole lot of attacking flair and they're a very difficult side to defend against. Uh, and it's, it's going to be a, a tough day at the office for us if uh, we don't defend for 80 minutes as a unit and we all pull in the one direction. Uh, coupled with that, we really need to make sure that we complete our sets, get to our kicks uh, and limit their time with the football uh, just to try and limit their damage. Unfortunately this weekend we're going to be without uh, superstar fullback Benny Fitzpatrick, uh, he's away with work commitments, as is uh, Adam Kelly. 
while we've still without the services of Nathan Kershio, Luke Badge, Wade Reithmuller, Christian Williams through injury. Hopefully this weekend all four grades can get some strong wins uh, and continue to contribute towards the overall club championship table. Uh, fortunately at the moment we're, we're out in front but there's plenty of clubs snapping at our heels and it really is a valuable award that uh, as a club we, we'd certainly uh, enjoy getting our hands on at the culmination of this year. So until next week, go the fish. Hey!